Hello everyone, I am Harshit Gupta. Uh, welcome to my live page. Today I will be talking about internal audit. And before I start, let me introduce you myself. Uh, I am a chartered accountant. Uh, I did my schooling from Dehradun, in Joseph's Academy. Went on for my graduation in commerce from Delhi University. I did my CA and completed it in 2013. In between, I interned with uh, a lot of firms in Delhi and also my last day as an internal audit consultant was at the Ernst & Young. Their Indian office, the Indian practice, I was working over there and I was a consultant with the company. Internal audit is essentially a function where you kind of uh, assist the management in finding out certain controls and certain ways in which you can perform better. Audit as a word in, in itself means checking and internal means it is an internal operation, it's not an external person doing it. So essentially you're reporting to the management who are already working for the company and you're assisting them in finding out certain flaws or certain improvements or certain way ahead to perform better. We'll be looking at certain key points and the first in that is contemporary awareness. What I mean by contemporary awareness is that you really need to know what's going around. If I'm sitting today in 2000, then I really need to know the kind of business being done today. I really need to know how a business operates. I really need to know what the market is going on. So yes, a contemporary awareness is very important because that will essentially add when you're on field doing the internal audit. The first one I would like to mention is logical thinking. You've done the analytics, you've done the audit tools, now you got to know the logical thinking behind it. You really need to understand why what happened and why what did not happen. So you really need to logically analyze things and make a fruitful decision out of it. Well, my age today is 26 and at this age, I have audited almost all the leading cement factories because my company gave me that opportunity. But more important over there is me being a 24 year old young chartered accountant auditing a GM finance of the company who was 60 and yet being called sir. It's not the fear that he's calling me sir, but it's the respect for my qualification and for my position over there as an auditor. An internal auditor is always looked up to for an advice and a person giving you advice is always respected. So you tend to get a lot of respect as you do ahead in your audit or as you move ahead in your life. First one I would like to talk about is long working hours. Well, work-life balance is important, which I will be talking about later. Long working hours, what I essentially mean is that your duty or your brain doesn't stop working at 7 p.m. once you're out of the office. You're back home, you're analyzing what you did during the day and you're already planning what happened next day. There can be times when your family and friends can be all irritated because your mind is still there. It's all about managing it. You really need to think, you really need to work on it even while you're out of office, but not at the cost of anything else. So the long working hours are definitely a challenge, but if managed nicely, they can be really easy to take care of. An internal auditor starts a day normally planning how the day ahead of him will be like. The day starts right from the morning when you get up, but again, you're relaxed. Why? Because again, it's not a desk job. You might not be at your desk, but you're definitely working in the background. So there is a kind of flexibility which I feel in an internal auditor's work that you can take the liberty of being late at some time because so there is work happening in the background already. Moving ahead, the day at office is usually surrounded by files and surrounded by information or by field visits. So it's a mix of both. You don't necessarily be on a table, but it's not that you don't get to see a table at all. Then at work, you meet a lot of people, you interact with a lot of people. It's not that kind of a work where you will die alone. You will meet, you will talk, and you'll always be involved in something interesting. Calling off work for internal auditor at certain time can be easy. If an engagement is going on in the starting days, you can be a little lenient and come home a little early. Spend time with yourself planning and spend time with your family and friends also. But the days closer to the reporting, the days closer when you're working and compiling all your findings, they can be hectic. They can ask you to stay till long in office, have your work back when you're home. But then that's worth it. It's only a limited period. It's not that it's every day. So friends, I hope I was able to give you an eagle's eye view about the whole perspective of being an internal auditor. I have tried to share whatever little I have gained in the past few years. 
and i hope this can benefit you and help you take decision about my life thank you so much